It's been a long um, journey, but an exciting one. And tomorrow, uh, it all comes to an end. I think it's been really an incredible project that kind of came to fruition. You know, I know it was partly Ronnie's idea, but it was also an idea that Swift had from the beginning. And I mean, we had how many women sign up for this academy? Like 1,200, that's a lot, that's a lot of women. To, to motivate to get on a bike. Like, and that's in the end really what we're trying to do is to motivate women to ride. I think it's been, it's been great and great promotion just for the sport itself. I mean, the fitness level is, is pretty high. I mean, it's um, surprisingly high. We would like to teach them and help them to improve and develop further. And but I think the basics, the basics are there and it's promising. In terms of the qualities we're looking for for the, the finalist or the, the winner from out of the three women, it's a really difficult uh, question to answer. Obviously, we want them to have some strength on the bicycle, which we know they already have, which is why they're, they're here at this point. We want them to be super motivated to improve and to join the team and to be able to contribute to the team, which we already know all three of them are. They also have to be willing to, to take the challenge and to really enjoy it and to enjoy being part of it. You know, it's a significant life change for them for next year and they, they need to be happy doing that. The nerves are starting to come. Um, it's been such a wonderful journey and knowing that uh, for better or for worse, it's, it's over. For one of us, it's just beginning. <laughs> but, um, but for two of us, the, the Zwift Academy officially comes to an end tomorrow. I think it's just do the best we can to relax and enjoy our last 24 hours in Spain. So, bye. I liked our loop today, it was really nice. Yeah. More and more comfortable in the pack. Tomorrow's decision time. I have so many thoughts about it, <laughs> let me tell you. And they go, they go all directions that you can possibly think of. Um, but you know, in the end you just don't know. So um, we did our best. Um, we showed ourselves all from what we can do, what we're capable of, and uh, that should be enough. What up? It is. What up? <laughs> Maybe we should put our canyon hats on. The final <laughs> countdown. <laughs> We're really feeling the pressure. Yeah. This is a highly intense competition. We all knew at the beginning that only one can make it to to get a contract with the team. Yeah, it has been. Has been has not been an easy decision because I mean each of you are great personalities with her own strength, her own weaknesses, the overall let's call it package um, with the person that we can develop the best and yeah with who's a Royce Diamond out of the three of you. Um, so we would like to offer a contract for the 2017 season with the Kenneth Ram Racing Team to Leah. Yeah. As much as I can't stop talking normally when you're asking me questions, I, I don't know what to say because I just don't know. <laughs> I look at the others and I'm just like, they, they, they're they strong too and everybody loves them too and their handling is better than mine. So I just, I, I'm, I hope that I can live up to being, um, I hope that I can be developed into something special. She showed so much power and strength. I think she just has unlimited potential. I think she's a, a phenomenal representative for Zwift Academy, um, and I, I think it gives us so much momentum into next year. A very proud, proud moment.